Hey there, YouTubers! Thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're um, we've got another inventory management uh, contest entry. This is Amy D, and so uh, Amy has uh, designed quite a few pages. It's got uh, every single one of them at the top has uh, this kind of like having tabs. It's got shortcuts to other workbooks. Uh, so we'll start at the top. Uh, salesman. So you can add an employee. You notice it automatically increments the employee ID to 1013. Um, the name of the salesperson is going to be Dan. And the post, let's just make me a sales senior and hit save. So there it adds that. So that's cool. You can hide post settings or show post settings. Show, hide. Uh, let's go to the invoice sheet. So this is. Uh, let's go back to that in a moment there's a stock in and out sheet this is where you I think you can add stock in but you can't uh, take stock out unless you go to the invoice sheet and you save an invoice or, or process one so let's go ahead and add uh, stock uh, please add the date it says okay so let's put today's date and the quantity is going to be 10 category is going to be let's use the scale and uh, we'll use the transparent 0.5 millimeter so 15 times 10 is $150 and we'll add that to our stock in so I'll click add you're about to add stock check everything before you proceed I'm gonna click yes and it says it's been added and there it is so 10 has been added um, I don't know how many we have currently in stock I think in order to find that you need to go to the product details and that was this transparent 0.5 scale thing here so we have let's see the balance is 60 let's do that again let's make sure that it says 70 if we do 10 more today's date 10 more category should be scale it's going to be transparent, blah, blah, blah. Add, yes, okay. There's 10 more. Let's go here. Okay, so now it says 70. So let's try decreasing. And then to decrease, you have to go to the, inv the invoice sheet, I believe. I was fiddling around with this earlier. Uh, it might be save invoice. Let me see. Do that. There's a scale, transparent, blah blah blah. Quantity of uh, 25. Now let's make it 11. That way we'll really know if there's a difference. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Save Invoice. Please enter date. Uh, let's see. Today's date. Customer ID. I don't have one, but a billing number. Just random stuff here. Save Invoice. Please add the customer. Dang it. Where's the customer at? Alright, uh, how about Amy? Okay, great. So, uh, save. You're about to finalize this order, check everything. So I'm going to hit yes because I want to take where it has been sent to the order database, and blah, blah, blah. So let's go to the product sheet here. And it still says 70. Um, so it didn't subtract 11 per se. Um, so I'm not really sure how to take out 11 out of there. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I'm not certain. Um, so um, that's basically... Um, the workbook it has a great look and feel to it um, a lot of work has gone into this so if you'd like to vote for Amy's workbook please click like click the like button on there and then leave your positive comments for Amy uh, did a great job everybody's done a great job so uh, thanks for watching God bless